Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we will be focusing on the database structure of the mini project. So, this was the mini project we were supposed to build. So, in this project, first of all, let's open the PHP My Admin and let's try to make the folder. Sorry, database. I've already created a database, I guess, with the name mini log. Yeah. So you can create a database just by clicking on new and giving a name. I have already done that with a mini block. So this is my database called mini block. In this database, there were there are no tables. So first of all, I would make the backend users table backend users so this table basically uh, I will write a comment login for backend panel will be stored here so here would be user ID which would be an integer and it would be a primary key okay obviously it is going to be auto incremented by default the second thing is the username uh, let's take it like 20 and the password which would be a varchar of 20 characters or more than that and the default values of username I can put it as null and password would be by default null so it is a good habit to put the default values uh, with each column okay and then we will have a status column as well which would be a tiny integer whose length is going to be 1 so by default would be uh, active user and otherwise this is going to be deleted so this for example if the status is 1 that means the account is active and 0 means the account is blocked so that particular admin or that particular user cannot access the website using this credentials because uh, that particular admin has blocked okay so this is the structure now let's save this so the backend users uh, table is ready with us now let's create a user let's insert a row I would say that it is an admin 123 is the password and let's go This is a warning of PHP my admin, so let's ignore this. So the you backend user is already created with us, and we have stored the access in the database. So if a backend user wants to access the backend dashboard, the username is admin and the password is one two three, and the status is active. So this is a valid uh, credentials to access the backend. Now the second table what we would be requiring is for the for storing the articles okay articles or blog whatever you call it so I will give a blog ID okay blog ID is going to be a primary key and primary key is going to be auto incremented okay and the table command I will write it as store logs stores log data okay and uh, here we will store the blog title which is going to be a where care of maximum 150 characters or 250 characters not more than that by default the value is going to be null then the blog description so this is going to be the 
text maybe so we will keep it as text then we will have a blog image each blog will have an image so this is going to be a wear care 300 length by default the value will be now okay and apart from that we will have a status column the status column will as defined the status would be one which is published so here I'm just writing the comment as one is published and zero is unpublished okay then when the blog was created so we can store the created on time which would be a timestamp and by default it would be a current timestamp also I need uh, the update time update date time so for that I'm going to add one more column updated on and this is going to be another timestamp by default it is going to store the current timestamp and here is on update current timestamp so whenever the entry is updated this uh, field will automatically get the latest timestamp on the server and it will be storing it okay so these are the two uh, tables we have created so here we will be storing our articles so I'm just creating one test article test log and this is description and here by default there would be an image uh, name or the path and let's go and check what it's giving us so here you can see that uh, the first entry has been created manually from the PHP management so this is the things which we uh, which will be done by the admin part okay so these are the two tables we are creating for this project for mini project the first table is uh, for the backend users like we will have multiple users will have the access of the backend so we can give the backend users the access like this and uh, the second thing is uh, the second table is for the article one so here we are going to have the articles stored so for now we are just creating the basic block management system so here we have the title we have the description then the blog image and the status to hide and show a particular block from the user's uh, view okay so this is a simple database we are not creating the block categories etc etc we are not uh, complicating it we our main focus is to understand the flow and accordingly you will you can enhance the functionality of this blog management system okay so I hope um, the database part is clear and next video we will start with the coding part of the mini project I hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like thank you